This video will explain how to split your reference list into categories, for example, to divide up primary and secondary sources. You may have been asked by your tutor or your publisher to provide a bibliography that has been split into different lists, for example, to show primary sources and secondary sources. This video will show you how you can do this using EndNote. So you'll need to have your document open with the citations already inserted into it. Now you can click on the Categorize References button on the EndNote toolbar and then click Configure Categories. A window will appear which shows you a list of the references in the document and on the left hand side here you can see the category headings. You can right click to rename a category so for example, I could call a category uh, references or primary sources or any other category name that I need to give it. You can also press the plus button at the top left here to add extra categories. So once you are happy with the category headings, you can look at all the references in your bibliography and then click and drag each reference to drag it into the correct category. So I'm splitting my sources across the two categories here. Once you've done this, click OK to see your reference lists. So here we have three sections, the categories that I chose, primary sources and secondary sources, and any references that weren't placed into a category will display at the end of the bibliography in a section called Uncategorized References. You can go back to the Categorized References list and place them into categories if you want to change this. If there's any categories that don't have any references in them, then they won't be displayed in the reference list. You might also have some references that you want to include in the bibliography, which are not cited in your text. For example, if you want to recommend additional reading. To do this, go to your EndNote library and select the references you want to include. You can click and drag to select a group or hold the control button to select additional references. Go back to your Word document and click into some empty space in the document. Make sure the cursor is flashing where you want to insert these references. Then click Insert Selected Citations. And the citations will appear in your text. Now click onto them and click Edit and Manage Citations on the EndNote toolbar. Make sure the correct citation is highlighted in blue and then change the formatting to show only in bibliography. Keep doing this for each of the citations you've just inserted. And then press OK. The citations will be hidden from the text, but the references will still show in the reference list. You can then go back to configure categories, look at the uncategorized references and drag these into the appropriate group. I'm going to add a third category, which I will call further reading. And then I'm going to drag these references into the new category. Click OK. And the new category has been added to my reference list. If you need to turn off the categorized lists, click Categorize References again, and then click Group References by Custom Categories to turn off the tick mark next to it. This will take your reference list back to the default order. For more help and advice about using EndNote, please visit the library website.